Welcome to NZ Pocket Guide, New Zealand's largest travel guide. Visit nzpocketguide.com for thousands of tips, hidden gems, and ways to plan the perfect trip in New Zealand. This is a readout of an article available for free on the website. Check out the link in the description and let's get started. 10 Best Walks in Queenstown The best walks and hikes in Queenstown Want to stretch your legs in Queenstown? Making use of the walking trails is an ideal way to soak in the scenery, as well as save some precious scents in a town that can easily leave you feeling bankrupt. In this list of walks in Queenstown, we've included an array of short walks and town-to-day hikes just a short drive away. Plan more of your Queenstown trip, according to your travel style, using the complete travel guide to Queenstown on nzpocketguide.com. 1. Queenstown Hill Loop, 1 Hour Loop Get some stellar views while working your legs on the steep but short walk in Queenstown. Starting from a town on Belfast Street, the Queenstown Hill Loop is a steady one-hour loop incorporating pine forest and open hills. You'll also find the Basket of Dreams sculpture. Location, Belfast Street, Queenstown. 2. The Tiki Trail, one hour one way. Instead of paying to take the gondola to the top of Bob's Peak, Hike your way there on the Tiki Trail. The track is easy to find at the bottom of the gondola, taking you through Pine Forest on a steady zigzagging journey to attractions such as the Luge and Citric Eco Tours. Location, End of Beacon Street, Queenstown. 3. Ben Lomond, 3 to 4 or 6 to 8 hours return. If you're looking for a challenging day hike in Queenstown then make it the Ben Lomond track. Get spectacular views from the exposed Alpine Ben Lomond Saddle, 3 to 4 hours, or 1,748 meters, 5,735 feet, summit, 6 to 8 hours. Note that this hike isn't suitable to do in winter unless you have Alpine experience with crampons, ice axes, etc. See our guide to the Queenstown weather and climate to check out the local seasons. Location Start from either the Tiki Trail at the end of Beacon Street, the One Mile Creek Track from the Fernhill Roundabout or the top of Skyline Access Road, Queenstown. 4. Frankton Arm Walkway, 3 hours one way. A wheelchair, stroller and bike-friendly trail on the shores of Lake Wakatipu, the Frankton Arm Walkway connects the Queenstown Gardens to the suburb of Frankton. It's a flat and easy walk with seats and jetties to sit on and take in the scenery. Location, Queenstown Gardens, Park Street, Queenstown. 5. One Mile Creek Track, One Hour Return. A bit of a local secret in Queenstown, the One Mile Creek Track is an alternative route to get to Bob's Peak, taking a little over an hour. The main event on this trail, however, is the remains of one of New Zealand's first hydroelectric power schemes at One Mile Dam. You'll follow a pipeline through some of the closest native forests to Queenstown. Location, Fernhill Roundabout, Lake Esplanade, Queenstown. 6. Lake Alta Track, 1H30 Min's return take the steep alpine climb of the Lake Alta Track to a stunning glacier lake. You'll ascend 200 meters, 656 feet, from the start of the track where the last part of the climb features information panels to learn more about the environment. Plus, it's also a Lord of the Rings filming location in Queenstown. To avoid the snow, the walk is best done in summer. Location, end of the remarkable ski field access road, approximately 23 kilometers, 14 miles from Queenstown. 7. Bob's Cove Track, 20 minutes one way. Enjoy an easy picturesque walk through native bush on the Bob's Cove Track. The track features good views over Lake Wakatipu, as well as opportunities for swimming. For a longer walk, Connect the 12-mile Delta Track, 2 to 4 hours return, for more lake views and another Lord of the Rings location or the Bob's Cove Bridal Track, 1 to 2 hours return. Location, start from either 12-mile Delta Road or Mount Crichton Track Car Park, approximately 12 kilometers, 7.5 miles from Queenstown. 8. Moat Lake Loop Track, 2 to 3 hours loop. A picturesque lake in the mountains somewhere behind Queenstown. Moat Lake has both a campground and a walking trail. 
Take the Moat Lake Loop tracked across a boardwalk over a wetland then over undulating grassland as the trail circumvents the lake. The final part of the walk returns on the gravel road back to the start. Location, Moat Lake Road, approximately 14.5 kilometers, 9 miles from Queenstown. 9. Lake Dispute Track, 1H30 Min's Return. Taking hikers to another stunning high country lake, the Lake Dispute Track zigzags through shrubland. Either return the same way to make a 1H30 Min's Walk or continue on the Mount Crichton Loop Track, 2H30 Min's Loop, or connect to Moat Lake on the Lake Dispute to Moat Lake Track, 3 to 4 hours one way. Location Signposted along the Norky Queenstown Road, approximately 10.5 kilometers, 6.5 miles from Queenstown. 10. Lake Hayes Walkway, 2 to 3 hours return. Finally, enjoy an easy but long stroll around the scenic Lake Hayes on the Lake Hayes Walkway. The walk is stroller-friendly and offers beautiful scenes of surrounding mountains and willow trees reflecting on the water. Location there are several starting locations, but a popular place to start with plenty of parking at the Lake Hayes Reserve, found on a gravel road off Arrowtown Lake Hayes Road. The start of the walk from this location is approximately 16.5 kilometers, 10 miles from Queenstown. That's it for this article. Hit like and subscribe to say thank you and remember, this article is available for free on nzpocketguide.com, check out the link in the description. Plus. There are thousands of articles for you to plan the perfect New Zealand holiday.